Okay, so we have to wash your hands, so everyone's lining up right now, literally. Annie! <laughs> we have to wash your hands. Minna, wash them. Anyway, this is a little rather like Asian owned supermarket. So it says from the public have wash hands before enter. And then it says only <laughs> this is a washing station. Yeah, look how far. Come, Annie. <laughs> come, come, come. 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 Come, no lady me no look, come. <laughs> because everybody else on a different journey. You understand? Yeah, but you're still washing it off. And that me I say. You're still washing off the soap. Sometimes. Look at this view. Look at this view. It's so nice. I'll build a house right here just to have this view. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys like basically how the place has changed a little bit in Jamaica because of the whole social pandemic that's happening. Um, I noticed that we're literally going down in history books. Like this whole pandemic is going in history books. So why not, why not showcase it from a Jamaican perspective to the world? Because basically in Jamaica, what they have been doing now is that they've been putting a lot of restrictions um, on restaurants and supermarkets so restaurants have to have like a I think like 10 people in at a time like a certain amount and then supermarkets close at like 2 a p.m. because majority of them are like Asian owned and like they're scared which is they haven't had school for like almost a month now so school has been put on pause a lot of events have been canceled so people had to get refunded their money or it had to be postponed okay a lot has been going on in Jamaica um, every like establishment you go into they're like the security guards at the front door whoever's at the front door is like making you spray your hands so you can sanitize it and stuff like that you can't dine in at certain like restaurants especially fast foods places you just have to pick up and go or there's a lot of delivery guys there's just it's I, I mean all these things are happening but like when you go outside on the road a lot of people are still driving a lot of people are still going out a lot of people are like idling still a lot of people are like buying like KFC like why are you going out buying KFC in this pandemic I just feel like that's just so weird to me but anyways in this video you guys are gonna see a few things I'm gonna try to put everything as much I, as I can record in this video so hopefully you guys like it if you guys do make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and comment down below what you guys are how you guys are feeling around this time what you think and everything like that I don't really feel a difference in Jamaica the only thing is that like every day feels like a Sunday since the whole pandemic has been happening like it's very slow a lot of people literally aren't going out and yeah so um yeah like people are wondering about the stock for like supplies they've been good i know that my mom had, went up recently to canada and she had to bring toilet paper up with her because like my sisters were like oh my god there's no toilet paper the shelves are empty so she's like oh let me buy some in jamaica and bring some up so she did that and like put a lot in her suitcase and brought it up and yeah the only thing that are sold out are literally like the hygienic things so you guys are gonna see it in the video because i had i'm gonna take a video of like the signs that are like everywhere so there's a lot of like gloves that are gone masks hand sanitizers you can't find none so everyone has to be making their own so people are like putting like bleach in a bottle and diluting it and then they're adding like all their little potions that's really what's happening everyone's supposed to be staying home but i'm just gonna do this video so i can show with everyone anyways let's get into this vlog okay. Okay, so <laughs> we're only allowing people 10 people in at a time. Um, and everyone's waiting. So I just came here to show you guys everything. See what I'm doing for you guys? <laughs> She just explained to people the only um, service that they're doing today is bank cards. Anything else? They have to go to the ATM form. Or what they would call it, ABS. Yeah, this is how it is. Okay, guys, I'm in Spalling. And I'm so shocked that it's kind of busy. I'm kind of annoyed because these people don't care. So, Juicy Party is open. The library down there is open. 
But like not all the stores are open, it's only a few. Ooh, I'm gonna go up to the phone where Pierre Shop People are still selling. They just thought it was open. We're still out here idling. Let me show you guys. Up there idling. There's still people here. It's not as packed as usual. I'm trying to hold it steady. It's not as packed as usual, but it's more busier than like a typical Sunday. There's still people out. There's still people like selling. People are so annoying sometimes. Um, I feel like people are not taking it serious, but here's how it looks. People are walking with masks on. Because we were extra. Gas stations are obviously still open. Guys, look. We're letting only three, three people in the bank at a time. So, the line is all the way outside. That's annoying. I would have just gone my ass. Ah. This is how up, this is how up here looks. Taxi's still running though. Kind of more, a little bit more empty. A little bit more empty down here. This is the supermarket I was talking about, um, where people were running and diving under just to get in and out of because they were closing it. So it was going down, and people were like sliding out, running and cussing people off. Oh no, oh, no, up! Yeah, this is it. It's empty around here though. And it's usually, as you guys know, if you guys come to Mindful, it's packed all the time around here. How empty? Okay, this is how empty this part of Mindful looks. It's usually all packed and everything. Nope. Hey guys. Okay, I'm at the shopping center and there's so much people here. Like, I don't, I was just saying that I don't feel like no one takes it serious. So, there's literally people, people are walking around with gloves and stuff, but it's not gonna make a difference. Is he? So, we're just gonna go into one. 
That's why you have to Yeah, because of virus. So imagine if it's like packed. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, we're gonna pay. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna pay. I wonder if she's gonna give, like, take the money in her hand or pull out the basket. Like, sometimes they have the nets. Oh, and I wonder if she has a mask on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like they're gonna do it in their hand. No, yeah. Do you want to see us? So you guys are gonna see. see. They actually push out like a basket, like if you give you the money. Nice. Yo, this Corona thing serious. Stay safe. <laughs> you might take precautions, yeah. that's very good. That's very good. Guys, that's it. Oh, guys, for Adam, mind your feet. Still chilling, eating over there. And empty inside though. We're in KFC guys. I just came in here to show you guys. And they have the dining room closed, so everywhere is closed over here. And over here. No clothes. And sanitizer. Listen! You wonder why people are still buying KFC in this virus. I just came in here to show you guys to be honest. Okay guys, we're just going on a walk right now. And like look at this person's house. They have a trampoline in the backyard. So I'm thinking of getting one for our house. Because like they sell those ones at Walmart or like Canadian Tire or something. So it just looks, it's just fun. So we're just house looking right now. Okay guys, look at someone's grog. I don't know what stage they're at. If you guys know, let me know. But this is perfectly it's plowing, that's what it is? Yeah, it's so well done. Like, look at this. Wow. I don't know. Okay, so you guys comment down below if you guys know, if you have an idea what you think this person is going to be planting here. We're just walking and house looking, guys. We're just saying it's so quiet over here. And these are probably like the nicest roads in the area. Yes, sir. Yeah, if you actually put think about it. You think around here is a bad road? Yeah, road good. I feel like it's nice. You when you continue going straight straight more down. Mm -hmm. Look at these houses guys. They're big and nice. Yeah, just like Guys, this dog is so cute. <laughs> So he was saying that he really, really likes the style, the architecture and the style of this house. It's so nice. Oh yeah, you guys can watch that video, link is so you guys can watch them. It's nice. I was just telling him that I feel like the door is not proportionate to the house. Like they should have a two door house to make it like proportionate. Oh wow, this is nice, yeah. I always think about pictures. Okay, I'm just cutting some flowers to plant. I'll put my yard with these ones. They're on someone's old property and I just came here and took them. They're so pretty, look at them. So these are the ones I'm gonna plant, so I'm gonna bring you with me. Okay, we have the flowers here. So we're gonna plant these, they're really pretty. Okay, and then we're going to use this barrel for water. Oh, this is how much we have left. I don't know if you guys can see, right here. This is what we're gonna use. We are making holes. I'm trying to use a fork, but we're well, I'm trying to use a fork just to like um, make the ground a little bit softer because he's gonna do the holes, and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna start talking. Oh, if the place is boring, I'm just trying to do everything that I can. I'm cleaning up even more. I'm trying to make more things. 
and yeah. I didn't know forks were so heavy until I picked up this fork. But now it doesn't seem as heavy anymore, you know? Since I've been using it. it <laughs> Okay, we're making some holes in the ground. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the cat is so cute. It always does this. It, ha it goes under stuff. It sleeps and hides. So how come some of them are peach and then some of them are pink on the same branch? But some of them are this color and then some of them are this color. Have you noticed that? That's okay. Okay, this is how it looks so far. Tell me how you guys like it. It's hot. Some holes. Oh, there's one right here that needs to. Is the water in here done? Okay, so this is it. Tell me if we did good. Guys, look at this dog. Look at this. There's so much maca in his hair and he's so dirty. So I'm, I'm gonna ask you guys, dirty is. So, come here. He's trying to run away from you because he doesn't want me to cut his hair. I have to like the, cut the hair around his eyes because he can't really see. Let me see if you guys can see it. Now, I wanted to ask you guys if you knew anyone who does dog grooming. So like washing the dog and cutting his hair. Like basically dog maintenance because we've been looking for someone forever. And guys, we only want people who are local in like the Manchester area, Clarendon area. So if you guys know anyone, comment it down below so we can contact them. Um, if they're on Instagram, send us their Instagram. Please, guys, because, like, look how dirty he is. Hi. Say bye.